First of all, hi everybody. My name is Peter Kwong. I played Rain in Big Trouble in Little China. And he just mentioned that it was the 37th anniversary. Well, just, just this year, earlier in the year, I went to San Francisco to celebrate Big Trouble in Little China for their anniversary screening, not only of that, but the 100th anniversary of the Castro Theater. So seeing my name in such a classic 100-year-old theater with the organ coming up from underneath the ground, and them honoring Big Trouble in China. We had a wonderful time giving a Q&A for over 30 minutes there at the Castro Theater. And then two months later in November at the Motion Picture Academy, they honored James Hong who played Lo Pan in our show. And he came on stage as well as Dennis Dunn and myself. And we did an honor to James Hong and to the show because they were honoring 100 years of Chinese history in America for Asian films. So it not only had goes all the way back to anime Wong in silent films and as well as all the way up to not only Joy Luck Club, The Last Emperor, but the most recent one with the Crazy Rich Asians as well. So these are some of the things that was I'm very proud of because Big Trouble in China is now incorporated into our American film history and honored by the Motion Picture Academy. So it makes a big difference to be able to see a small little film that started out, you know, 37 years ago and now being given the acknowledgement of being part of American film history. And so it's really great to see how these tiny movies back in the day has come to make an influence and change in our current media so that we can have opportunities like Crazy Rich Asians, like Joy Luck Club, and now hopefully in the future like everything, everywhere, all at once. Let me give you a little perspective on that. First of all, I never considered myself an, as an Asian American. I consider myself as an American. And same thing goes along the line with I'm an actor. I'm not an Asian American actor, I'm an actor. And one of the reasons why I got into show business in the first place was to affect the covert and overt racism that's institutionalized in the subconscious bias in our society. And that is one of those things that you fight on a daily basis. I remember when I first did Big Trouble in China, right? During that time, you have to understand the climate. It came right at the heels the moment before it was the year of the dragon and the Asian community had a big protest about it because it did not depict Asians in a positive light as gang members, as villains and things like that. It's a complete different story than The Godfather because that gave you full, well-rounded characters where the, the, everybody was a victim to the white community back then. New York cops had their attitude, they were misogynist, they were sexist, and they gave Chinatown a bad name. Right behind that came Big Trouble in China. So we had to deal with the negative publicity, the backlash from the community and things like that. So as a result, we met with not only the community, but with March Fong Yu, who was the Secretary of State at the time, and we, the, the cast and crew met with them. We had an open discussion of changing and affecting a change in our community and in the film and in society. So seeing that slowly evolve to right now to what it is, it's, it's great to see the new evolution, if you will, of the general American public being open to films like Joy Luck Club, films like Crazy Rich Asians, Parasite, and everything, everywhere, all at once. It's wonderful to see this kind of evolution and change in our films.